Hi, Covenant Kids. My name is Stacy Schmiedek. You might know me as Owen and Evie's mom, and I am a doctor. Uh, at work, my colleagues and friends call me Dr. Stacy or Dr. S, and my job is to take care of other moms uh, who are pregnant and who have babies growing inside their belly. Uh, my um, everyday job in terms of helping people looks a lot like it does right now, where I spend sometimes long days and hours in the hospital um, doing surgery, helping deliver babies, um, and helping take care of moms uh, and dads in hopes of um, um, assisting in their the delivery of their next child. Um, what, growing up, one person who taught me um, a lot about um, helping other people is my mother. Uh, I think I learned very early on that um, service to others is truly a calling uh, and um, and God's purpose for, for my life and for people like uh, myself, my mother, um, and my sisters. Uh, and so she was a big inspiration uh, and motivation for me um, to become a doctor. One way um, you guys at Covenant Kids can, um, can pray for me is to pray for my colleagues um, and those who work with me, especially my nurses. Um, my nurses are being um, really put under a lot of pressure right now to take care of, um, of both sick moms and healthy moms um, during this current health crisis. So please pray for them um, and pray that we um, have the supplies to take care of our patients and to take care of each other. Um, and just that we get through this together. Uh, thank you so much for thinking of us um, and have a great day from Dr. Stacy. Bye. Hey guys, my name is Chelsea and I am a nurse. I work at Magnolia Post Acute Care in El Cajon. When I was growing up, my teacher, Mrs. Woods, taught me all about biology, science, and anatomy. She was a healthcare worker before she became a teacher. She taught me that by using my mind, my knowledge, and my hands for God's glory, I would help others see that they are valued and loved. So as a nurse, I help the residents in my facility by giving them the medications they need to be well, dressing and changing their bandages so that they can heal, and loving them by encouraging them toward health each and every day. Right now, with the coronavirus being such a threat to my residents' health, I help them stay safe by washing my hands, staying home when I'm not working, and praying with them and for them as they worry about their families who can't be with them at this time. One way you can pray for me is that the coronavirus doesn't find its way into our facility and that my family stays safe. I have a husband, Mr. Austin, and two kids, Emma and Hudson. So pray that they stay well. Thank you, Covenant family. Stay safe. Thank you for staying home and sheltering in place. We love you. Hello, my name is Young, and I am a physician. I work at Sharpie Steely, which is a clinic. Um, someone who taught me how to be helpful when I was, as I was growing up was my father. He has always been very generous and kind uh, with those in need. I still hold him as an inspiration for me. Right now, the way I'm trying to be helpful is keeping my patients healthy and also reminding them of taking the right precautions, wash their hands, uh, not touch their faces in public so that they will avoid getting sick. And in terms of what you can pray for me, for compassion and wisdom as I take care of my patients. A lot of people are worried out there, so we need to be particularly kind these days. And you all stay safe. Hi, my name is Emma. I'm a nurse at Sharp Memorial Hospital, and one person who helped inspire me to become a helper was my dad, who was always willing to lend a hand to anyone who needed it. And the way I'm helping right now is being here at work and trying to be super encouraging to my coworkers and helping patients as much as we can here. Um, one way you guys could pray for us is to pray for peace and calmness as it's a little bit stressful here right now so knowing that other people are thinking about us is really helpful so thank you hi my name is kelsey i'm a registered nurse at scripps memorial hospital in la jolla 
One person who inspired me to be a helper when I was growing up was my grandmother. She would come over and help take care of us and help keep us fed and entertained and never asked for anything in return. At work right now, uh, being helpful looks like taking extra time to sanitize our nursing station and taking a few extra minutes to sit with our patients because we're not allowing any visitors in the hospital and it can be very scary and lonely to go through a hospital stay with no family or friends around so we nurses have to go the extra step to be there for them not just physically but emotionally as well sometimes. One way you could pray for me is for continued health um, as I am taking care of patients with COVID-19 at work right now, and I hope not to bring any illnesses back to my family. Hi, my name is EJ Kim, and I am a nurse at the VA hospital. The one person who inspired me to be a helper was my mom. Uh, she always brought me to the hospital when I was feeling sick, um, or she took care of me at home and nursed me back to health and um, she also took care of my grandparents uh, when they needed her help. And right now, um, I get to help people uh, who are sick by giving them medication um, that will help um, heal their sickness, uh, or I give them a, a shot here on their arm um, because it helps prevent any sickness that somebody might get in the future. Um, I lately have been feeling just um, a little stressed out with the amount of things I might need to do in the future as a nurse. Um, so if you could, please pray for me um, to remember God's invitation to peace um, so that I can give that peace to my patients. Thank you so much. Hi Covenant friends, my name is Trisha and I'm a nurse and the person that inspired me to become a helper is actually my little sister. I know that often it's the big brothers and big sisters that get to be the helpers in the family but also the younger brothers and younger sisters, you guys can be helpers as well. So right now what I do as a nurse is I get to go visit a bunch of different grandmas and grandpas out there who are living all alone by themselves right now because it's not safe for their family members to visit them because there's this big illness that's going around and if they get it they're gonna get really really sick and so what I get to do is I get to be one of the only people that goes and visits them and I help them with their medications and I help them even um, just walk and get up and stretch their legs. Um, I also get to use my camera on my phone like we're doing right now just to help them stay in touch with their family members and send them a little message to let them know that they're okay because everybody's feeling a little bit alone right now and we need to stick together as much as we can and tell everyone that we're still thinking about them. If you could pray for me and my other helpers that we could actually get some more helpers, that would be great. Because we just need a few more people because we're working really long and hard hours. Um, and it, we just need more helpers so that way we can keep going and um, keep helping as many people as possible. Thank you so much. Bye guys. <laughs>